Well, due to my prior experience in the field, my senses indicate that this man is dead. He's very dead. He's very dead indeed. I'm no priest, but God rest his soul. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Don't you worry one bit. I'll find out who did this to you. Shh. Don't you worry, sir. I'll find out who did this. Salutations, my friends. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. This man, dead, on the street. We must find out who killed him. But first, I must tiptoe through the meadows over his body. Don't mind me, sir. Excuse me. All right. Let's examine him. I'm seeing multiple gunshot wounds. Right there. There. And there. Right there. Hmm. Yes, very dead indeed. Hmm. Well. Wounds. Multiple. Hmm. Seagalata. Address apartment 511018 South Broadway. Hmm. Some pearl earrings. Huh. Ah, layaway voucher. See the letter. Layaway receipt. Pearl hmm. earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Murdered over a pair of earrings, eh? It's better be some nice earrings. Did you have a watch on him? I need to tell the time. I need to take my meds. The ones that help me from pooping my Don't pants. Don't you people have anything better to do? No, I'm investigating. All right, sir, let's find out who did this to you. We have an address. We have a name. Hmm. Officer. 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 Let's interrogate the witnesses. Anybody say anything? Did anybody say anything? Well, don't just play street mime. Tell me. You're useless. You know that? Okay. Let's see. We have a layaway voucher. Mm hmm. Receipt from pearl earrings made out on a bank of Acadia to C. Galetta. Hmm. We need to find the C. Galetta. Huh. Ah, shell casings. Shell casings. These look like 32s. 32, eh? Well, we may have a murder weapon. In broad daylight? Really? Nobody saw anything? Nobody saw anything? You listen here, suspended Joe. If you're holding information from me, I'm gonna kick your ass. This is a crime scene. I'll... Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly what did, did you, you see? see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? Backfiring, eh? So you think a car shot car. him, did you? Well, sir, that's ridiculous. Cars don't shoot people. Cars shoot other cars. Cars on human crimes have been outlawed for years. We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene hmm. before questioning the witness. Are you the woman that ran into the store? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. What do you know? You know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Your boss, eh? Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. Everett you are Gage. Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Clovis, eh? Let's see. Eyewitness account. Hmm. Do you think you could tell uh, me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shop at lunch. Her. I was in a store when... Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. You were walking in front of him and then he got shot, huh? Huh. Oh. Press Y to accuse the witness of lying. Hmm. Hmm. 
She seems a little sketchy right now. I don't, I don't know. That's a lie. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. Nothing How wrong. can you prove different? Hmm. The voucher's evidence the casings are the shooting. Hmm. This is where we find out my detective skills are not that great. Not that great. The voucher! Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole right. year. Stop lying. Because I'm not listening. Tell I'm busy focusing on this story. bad accident. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop up. Your little murder fool! Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. A lovely watch, did Mr. He? Gage bursts in. Uh -huh. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Likely Mr. story. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan. Japan. And yells at me to get back oh, to Japs. work. Then what happened? We get back hmm. here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang. <gasps> and another, and another. Oh, dear. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. I would imagine getting shot is indeed painful. Possible murder suspect. Which jewelry store? Hartfield. Hartfield, eh? Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. Hmm. He threw the gun in a bin and turned in a bin, and walked he? away. I think this is tutorial, so it's telling me to doubt her. I doubt You're you! making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? You wouldn't like me when Tell I'm angry, Tell me why eh? Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people Whoa do. there! It's not my fault if he has Whoa nice there. things. Whoa there. Whoa there. Whoa there. Details of shooting. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It's not that difficult to remember when your life is on the so line. so many. And they were so loud. Mm, mm. I think that there's a truth there. Not just because the game's telling me, but... Well, because the game's telling me. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor Focus details your chi, Miss Galetta. later on. Well, there was one bang. Uh-huh. And then another. And then... Three very quickly close together. We do have the shell casings on the ground. We could tell Five. how many shots. Five, eh? Thank you for your help, hmm. ma'am. Been very brave. Three, three correct. We need you to Good make job. a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Good Gage. job, Mr. Fowler. I, I ranked up. My, my. I don't know what that means. <laughs> never mind. Damn right, like never mind, Miss Galetta. Thing. We'll keep in touch. Call me. Nice ass. So, this is awful. he's still this dead. Is awful. That is true. Let's investigate these shell casings. Where do they go? I want to investigate the casings. Unless there's something else. Right, the bin. Well, the gun was there all along. That looks like a total of. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. <laughs> Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Ah, convenient. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Lunch hey, date. Maintain the perimeter. All right, let's get down there. We need to get to the bottom of this. Ah, Phil's jewelry store. Hmm. Hmm. 
We do want to investigate the jewelry store, but do we want to go to the gun store first to find out who's the owner of the gun? Miss Galetta could be framing a murder victim here. You never know. You never know! Legal U-turn! Don't mind me, officer of the law here! Don't need this! Oh cool, I put the sirens on! I didn't know that was a thing. I'm on the case! Get out of my way, you fools! I have to solve a murder! Ah, we're coming up on the gun store now. Don't mind me and my awesome parking. All right. Hello, gun storeman. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers, you can do me for sir. free, Officers. you cheap prostitute. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Hmm. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he Kalu. bought a bunch of cartridges and he left. Well. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks well, all the pieces are coming together. We must go to Hartfield's jewelry store. We gotta get down there. What are you doing? Get in the car. We need to go to Hartfield's. Mr. Kalu, I've got your number. And I'm taking you down. I'm taking you down, everyone. Get out of my way. Artfield's Jewelry Store, 2.36 p.m. Question Edgar Kalu. My awesome. phone is ringing. Damn it. It was merely a phone call from the future because cell phones didn't exist back in this time. Let's get back to investigating Mr. Kalu. Dangerous unit new watch. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Yeah, buzz him for me. Son of a bitch! He's running! Cole, go! That is Kalu! Get back here, you saucy son of a bitch! I'm gonna get you. You can't run from the law! The only thing the law is able to be run from is when you have diarrhea. Hello, That's when the law here. runs. It runs down your pants. Get back here. Uh, wait, I don't think what I just said makes any uh, sense. That's okay. Get out of my way, bus. Mr. Kalu, get back here. Whoa. Get tackle him. I'm gonna tackle you. Get back up. Okay, Boom. Took him down in the park. Too late, Kalu. Ooh. This ain't police brutality. This is back in a time where police brutality was okay. You. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Get in the paddy wagon, yo, scum. The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. Sounds like it will be an the opening case that keeps from you like a bar as you relive the what ifs. Law and order SVU episode or something. The half leads and the half truths. Unit. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nodded our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. 
a motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. All right. Argument with Gage. I gotta interrogate this bastard. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with you? You shot him. It had everything to do with you. Hmm. Nothing to do with you. I doubt that. So you shot well, this I'm guy good. over the sale of a watch. You think Jewish people are going to continue to take it lying Whoa, down? Oh, again, using the J in word. Orderly lines to the ovens. I don't like that. Not this heap. I say enough is enough. No more. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Well, shit. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back! Get in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! All right, I guess take two. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Cole. Ah, we're doing a rewind. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. It's like deja vu. You followed Everett Gage and the girl. I think back I'll do the, the intuition store. thing like you they put said. Five I rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, Man, he got yeah, what was heard coming. Before. But it had nothing to do with me. Hmm. Huh. Remove an answer. Ah, I see. Okay. You're a liar. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Yeah, we can. The handgun. You got nothing, boy chick. What? You're what do you mean? Right out of court. I've just got to keep my mouth shut. Well, that's a lot of bullshit. And watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep uh, making a schmuck of yourself. Here we go again. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. 
Edgar Kalu. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. Uh, if it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite Pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell does. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the D.A. wants my head. Wow. We've finally become an actual detective, and this outfit can finally make sense. Great. You're wasting time. Get out of here. Okay, all right, I'm going. Jeez. Hello, nurse. Do you really think I'm going to squeal? They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this. Desk. I want to do an you outro. Shut minutes. up, Bukowski. What do you want me to say? I so, we're finally a favorite. detective. We've moved up in the world. We have a new partner, Bukowski. In the next episode... In the next episode of L.A. Noir. <laughs> Anybody else enjoying this game? Because I'm having a grand old time. This is pretty fun. Granted, that interrogation scene before took me a lot of tries because... I'm learning. I'm learning the mechanics of being an actual good detective. So that was another episode of L.A. Noir. I hope you guys are enjoying the bad accent and the playthrough. And if the... Uh, the cutscenes are too much because I want I want to get the story and I want you guys to get the story. So I leave them in there.
Type on that typewriter, woman. Type on that. Anyway, that was another episode of Ellie Noir. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we become more of a detective in the world of L.A. and the Noirs. I don't know what a Noir is. I'll probably find out. Probably find out. I say we anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.